Motoistas, welcome to Moto IoT. This is Jericho. Um, it's a glorious day here in Washington. Very sunny. There are some clouds and all that, and I hope it doesn't turn into rain later on. Thinking about heading to Tacoma today. You know, just do a quick ride. Um, yeah, I just today I just want to talk to you guys about you know my experience switching from a cruiser motorcycle to a, to a super bike like this one and hopefully uh, with my story you know it may help you if you're thinking about getting your first motorcycle or thinking about you know um, trading your motorcycle for a different kind up a, a bike uh, hopefully you know I'm hoping that you know this will help you kind of like decide or give you an idea on what kind of rider are you so as some of you may already know my first more my previous motorcycle was a Kawasaki Vulcan 650s um, I had that for a year that was my first motorcycle and I had a lot of fun with it, you know, um, it was a very beginner friendly motorcycle even though it has that, it, was a, it has a pretty, a relatively big engine compared to, uh, to a 250cc motorcycle that I learned on during my MSF course. Uh, and you know, people will tell you all the time, do not get a motorcycle bigger than, with, uh, with an engine bigger than 300cc as your first motorcycle uh, but for that particular model uh, I think that it's an exception it's very forgiving very easy to ride uh, uh, to ride and um, very comfortable so yeah so I bought that um, I had a lot of fun with it you know it's very comfortable I think the only complaint I had was the the, the suspension like if you hit a a bump you know it you know, it, can, it, it can get pretty uncomfortable but overall you know if you're riding it normally um, it has a 60 horsepower at 10,000 rpm um, and uh, I forget the torque but yes you know it, it, it can it holds well on a, on a highway or or on the in interstate you know um, but you know, when I, whenever I'm riding that one, I just get like if there's like a, a a sports bike that's you know that I'm riding with or or what. I'm all, you know pretty much I always get left behind. It's not it's not it's not very fast basically, but it's it's a very fun it's a fun bike. The the engine of it is actually the uh, uh, a Kawasaki Ninja engine, same. You know, uh, same engine. What they did is they took it out and built a cruiser around it. Uh, so when I, you know, when I was re researching about you know more side more, more cruisers and figuring out which one to get, I was out. Um, initially, I was really thinking about getting a Harley. Um, you know, but then yeah, I came across that particular motorcycle, and I was also looking at a, a Yamaha Volt. Um, but that that particular bike though, the the, the Kawasaki, this, 
it's pretty good I, I really like the style especially they had that orange and black color scheme you know I really liked it so I decided you know what that's the one I'm gonna get um, so yeah after like I was I think I was able to take that out to a, onto the highway within about three days that's how user friendly or beginner friendly was um, and I had a lot of fun with it but you know, then after a year of riding um, I, I would say I got pretty bored just because you know the, I think the, the the performance even though it's it holds well it's very underwhelming so and then I was thinking about this particular experience that I had way back when years ago I was at a uh, I was at the Jacksonville airport in Florida walking towards my gate and I saw this Ducati sports bike on display and you know I I came I went I went there and checked it out and all I could think I remember thinking like man this this bike is a work of art that's that's what I was thinking you know it's it's very you know it's very it's really nice to look at you know um I forgot exactly what model it was, but I remember it cost about 15 grand. And that day I told myself like, hey, if I ever get into more cycling, I would definitely get the Kari sports bike. So, you know, with that in mind, uh, and me being bored riding my Kawasaki around, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna start researching or looking at sports bike right I'm gonna get about getting either you know keep my my motorcycle and see if I can get a new one uh, so the first thing that I, that I searched for was the Ducatis and then you know I saw these Panigales and I remember I was pretty hooked on a V4S uh, but then again I was after reading like looking at the, the features and the specs I was like, man, this is too much of a sports bike. <laughs> this is too much of a bike for me, you know. I'm still relatively new. It's been only, I've only been riding for a year. So I think this might be too much. <laughs> and they're pretty expensive, I tell you that. I think a V4S costs about close to 30 grand. About $27,000, I think. So I look at the other class of Panigales and I saw the, uh, the 959 Corsa. You know, and I think the horsepower the horsepower is about 150 uh, at 10,000 RPM or 9,000 RPM, something like that. And the color scheme was about it's a it's a white, red, and black. Um, and I remember it's just I was looking at it, it's like it's it's very beautiful. It's a it's a it's a beautiful bike bike. You know, it has you know it's not as powerful powerful as a before. But you know, it's, it has that. Yeah, it ha it does have power. You know? So um, so I started looking at it and uh, look for a for a dealership. Uh, contacted someone at Ducati Seattle um, and tried to get to get finance. Unfortunately, I couldn't get approved because moving from Florida to Washington, I took on some uh, some debt. So I couldn't get approved that it was you know uh, for, for, for that particular motorcycle. So I was gonna hold off buying one, but I just couldn't get it out of my mind. I said, you know what, I want a freaking Tokai. <laughs> so I started researching again, look at the other dealerships here around the area, and I found this particular motorcycle, which is a, a 2015 Tokai 899 Panicat. And so I found it, contacted the dealer, went there, and you know to check it out. And they, as soon as they turned on that engine, that rev, dude, I'm telling you, it it was very overwhelming. You know, I, I've been watching YouTube videos and researching it, and you know, I could that sound is very unique to Tokaris, but that engine sound. But once you actually hear it in person, you will be, you'll be blown away, I tell you. So, so that, that sound was pretty intimidating already. Uh, and then I got on it, and I remember 
I was having a hard time trying to reach the ground with my feet. I actually had to tiptoe. So compared to the to the cruiser that I have, which is pretty low, uh, and uh, the position of your feet is forward, right? You kind of like sitting on a couch, so that's why it's very comfortable. Um, but compared to the Ducati, the Tanigale, my body is positioned forward, and uh, you know my feet in the back, and then you, I had to use my basically my 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 hands, my wrists, to support my body. Right, it was very uncomfortable, but at the same time, I was so excited. You know, it's it's a different feeling, man, with, with that sound and just the like. It's a that that aggressive position that you're on. It, it was very fun. Like I was, I haven't even riding it yet. I just got on it just to feel it, and yeah, I was I was having so much fun already. So three days after, I finally went back. Uh, and, and then you know got the bike after all the paperwork it was time for me to to drive to ride it home and I remember I couldn't I couldn't take it out of the parking lot right away I actually sat there and tried to kind of like you know ride it around the parking lot try to get used to it and I, I just I, I, I told myself I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna take this home you know this it's like it's very hard to control I was so nervous so, so after a few more minutes, I finally gathered enough courage and took it out of the road. And and yes, it was a 30 minute 30 minute drive from the dealership to my house. Uh, but it was traffic that day, so you can imagine me trying to you know stop and move and stop for an hour. Basically, it was the most painful <laughs> freaking hour of my of my life. <laughs> I was sweating, I had my leather jacket on, it was about 80 degrees outside that day. And I was just, yeah, I was just hot, man. Uh, but at the same time, I was having so much fun, I was so nervous. It was, you know, it's that, the, the nervous, it, it's, I'm, I was nervous, but at the same time, I was having so much fun. Uh, but yeah, so, so, the exp that's, that's the experience that I had. It's like, it's very different, you know, they're both motorcycle, but Riding on a cruiser, I'm telling you, it's way different. You know that cruisers, I guess, are built for like you know comfort riding, long distance riding, uh, compared to a sports bike like this one, which is you know for racing, right? So your your position is more aggressive, uh, and this thing can go fast, just like that, right? And um, but it, I'm having so much. I, yeah, I've had this for about three, four weeks now. And I'm just having so much fun every time I get on it, you know. And I, you know, you get you get a lot of looks. Like people like will compliment you, come up to you, check it out. And you know, I've had plenty of people come up to me already and say, "Hey, you know, it's a nice bike, man." Um, I did get compliments from my Kawasaki as well, but this is different. I, I tell you now. So, would I recommend the Atukati Panigale? Definitely, but you know, remember it may or may not be for you. So think about when you're getting a motorcycle for the first time, or been thinking about switching, uh, you know, types of motorcycle. Um, think about that. You know, think about like, are you more um, concerned about comfort? Like, if you may maybe you have to use the your motorcycle for commute every day, then I would not recommend a sports bike for that. You know, but if you're if you if you don't mind it you know and you want power and you want speed then a sports bike is definitely uh, you know should be on your on top of your list so yeah so I hope you guys like this uh, little vlog you know uh, and I hope it helps uh, also if you notice that um, I actually dub my voice on this video uh, because GoPro Hero 7 Black, or I know I know about the other ones, but yes, that particular model suck when it comes to hooking up an external mic to it. I'm actually thinking about getting a different model vlogging camera. Uh, I'm looking at Santa right now, uh, so I don't have to dub my voice every time I try to make one of these videos. 
Uh, so yeah, uh, I'll see you guys around. Then uh, subscribe if you haven't, or if you're on Facebook, follow our page. And uh, I'll see you guys later.